What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again. Do you struggle with texting? Has that caused you issues in the past? Have there been situations where you were talking to somebody and it kind of fizzled out because you really just didn't know what to say in the text? You really just didn't know exactly how to communicate with them? A lot of my clients struggle with this, so I've come up with a strategy to help you text successfully so that they will want to see you want to be around you more, and think about you all the time. Here are five texting hacks that you can use to make somebody think about you and want to be with you. Here are five secret texting hacks that will totally change the game. The first thing you want to do is be direct. Make sure that whatever you want to say, you say. A lot of times you beat around the bush. Oh, uh, hey, how are you? You don't say what you want. You don't say the things that you or give the message that you want to convey. You just try to make a lot of little small talk and it makes the person kind of get bored and want to talk to somebody else. Think about it. Put it in the comment section below. Be real. Have you ever done that where you just weren't being real? You weren't talking to the person the way you wanted to. You were kind of warming up to it and then the conversation went flat. Well, that's because you have to be direct. If you want to tell somebody they look good, don't wait around and work your way up to it. Hey, you look good this morning. If you want to hang out with somebody later, hit them up right away. Hey, I was thinking we can hang out later. Don't be beating around the bush because when you beat around the bush, a lot of times whatever you were looking for is gone. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it ran off. So make sure you're direct. And that's going to help you be a lot more successful. Number two, Paint a picture. When you talk to somebody, you want to give them visual images of what the situation would be like if they were there with you in person. You have to remember, a text is just going to be that unless you make it a conversation and you make it an interaction. People text all the time. People, you know, bring some milk. Um, hey, don't be late for work. Hey, you're going to bring that project in. People text all the time. And a lot of times it's really impersonal and it's really cold. If you're doing that when you're texting somebody, then they're going to just lump you in with everybody else. When you text, you want to have imagery. You want to make them feel like they're already connecting with you. So then they become more excited about being with you. Also, they feel like they're a little more comfortable and familiar with you. If it's a cold text and the only time you really talk is when you're in person, that's going to make it to where the person really doesn't have the same level of comfort with you. Plus, they don't really want to hear or they don't want to read your text. They kind of like, oh, you know, just like anybody else sending me random messages all day long about nothing. If you want somebody to enjoy texting you, you have to connect that imagery to it. You have to do something more than just send them little memes or uh, little words or whatever. You want to be... You, sit, you want to put that picture there that makes them want to talk to you more. Think about the things that they actually like, the things that they want to be interested in, and then you paint a picture of those things. You use those to paint a picture of a good moment so that they're having that moment with you. That's going to make them want to see you, and it's going to make them want to text you more. Number three piggybacks what I was talking about earlier. Customize the message. A lot of times you're sending everybody the same good morning text or you're sending to everybody, what you doing, big head text. If you're doing that with every person or you're making these dry, hey, what's up text to everybody, whether it's all day long or it's from relationship to relationship, if none of the texts really have that person's interest in mind or they're not tailor made for the person, people notice that. Have you ever gotten like a telemarketer message and you knew it was a telemarketer message because it said something like, hey, customer, they didn't even bother to put your name in it. Well, think about that when you're talking to somebody. The more tailor-made the message is for you, the more interested you are in it, even when it is some telemarketing group. Have you noticed that sometimes you think it's people you know because of the way the message was? It's like when those telemarketers used to call and use your first name. Some of them would use a nickname or something like that. Like, what's up, is Bunny there? Uh, yeah, I'm right here. Yeah, you know, well, we're calling you because you're behind on your payment, you know, something like that. If you make sure that you make it about them, then they become interested. People love to hear about themselves and people love to have things that are tailor-made for them. Number four, 
go back and forth. Go back and forth between playful and sexy. Why do you want to do that? Because you want to text somebody that you actually want to be in a relationship with or that you already are in a relationship with. So your text should always look like two people who are in a relationship. Otherwise, you fall into the same category as everybody else. You could be their mother texting them. You could be their grandmother texting them. You could be their grandfather. You could be their boss. You could be their uncle Rallo. Anybody, right? If you're not texting them in a way that says this is a relationship, if I look at your text, I should look at your text and be like, yeah, these people don't even know each other or I can't pick out girlfriend or boyfriend. If I'm looking at your text and I can't pick out which one, what relationship you have, that means that your relationship is not being conveyed in your text. They should go back and forth, have playful moments with the person, have sexy moments with the person. That's going to make that person be more willing or more eager to text you back and forth and also want to see you and be around you. Those are the things that make somebody think about you all day long. When you're not really doing that, the person is thinking about whatever is happening in front of them and you're not there. So the people who are in the office with them are going to get more attention than you. The people who are out there, you know, shooting pool with them are going to get more attention than you because what you're doing just doesn't add up to relationship. It's just like something else they have to do. Read your little goofy ass text or, you know, reply to your to your goofy ass text with nothing, you know, so y'all, your energy's not there. So they're not going to care to text you and they're not going to really care if they see you. Yeah, if y'all are together. They got to see you. So they're like, okay, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing you because we are together. But the text didn't make it that way. The text had no effect. And if y'all are not together yet, those type of bland texts make it to where they want to communicate with somebody who's kind of more interesting. So sometimes they'll choose a friend or even somebody else. Number five, keep it short and sweet. A lot of times you struggle to wrap text up. Be real. Put it in the comment section. Do you struggle to wrap text up? A lot of times you want to just keep on saying stuff. Man, this conversation is going so good. I just want to keep it going, keep it going. Don't go until they don't want to talk to you anymore. You should always leave them wanting more. You know, that's what they say in theater. Always leave the audience wanting more. That's what they say in comedy. You say your funny jokes, you leave with a banger. You don't hit them with the best joke you got and then just keep on talking, that makes a person forget that they had a good moment with you and now they just remember that they wanted you to get off stage. You wanna make sure that you wrap it up short and sweet so that it's enjoyable for the person and they wish that they could have texted you a little longer. That's gonna make them want to see you that much more. That's gonna make them want to complete that conversation that much more. You don't want to ruin the suspense of seeing you. You've already set the stage. You've um, done a great job of painting the picture. You customized that message for them. You've done everything that you needed to do. You were straight to the point. You've done everything you needed to do to make those texts that you sent them interesting and engaging. Now they're, they're hot ready to go. They want to talk to you. They want to see you. They want to have more conversation in person with you. If you just keep on yap, 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 talking about nothing, then they feel like they already talked to you all day. They feel like, okay, yeah, you know, you, you talked to me until you got on my nerves. I'm good now. Once I see you again, it's not going to be like a sense of urgency. So you want to make sure that you wrap it up on a high note. Now, texting can be very, very difficult. But if you follow these hacks, it's going to be a lot better. If you do the things that I told you, you will find yourself being a person that people want to text, want to talk to, and want to engage with rather than just getting the one word answers.